M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd show these two side by side. On the left, you've got the ARDV10, which receives DMR, D Start, Fusion, and a lot more. On the right hand side, you've got the new Alinco DJX100, which also receives DMR, D Start, Fusion, and a lot more. Now, the Alinco has built in GPS, and if we get a GPS lock, all the satellites will show. Also, it's a colour screen, so you can mix and match the colours. At the moment, you've got the black with the light blue text, but that can be changed. You can use red, black, white, all kinds of colours. It has this sort of flat sort of touch keypad. There's no buttons sticking out. Now, the ARDV10, which I think is a very good device, they're, they're not low. Both of these are going to be priced around eight, seven to nine hundred pound is what they're going to be priced at. The DV10, which is a much more a larger, solid device, and a style of radio that Yesu have been using for many years with their Airband Marine Band, but this is the, the AOR DV10, actually receives the HF Band as well. They both can be used for Airband, Marine Band, and the frequency range of the ARDV10 is 100 kilohertz to 1300 kilohertz. So it covers a much wider band range than the Linko, which is 30 to about 470. I think it could be expanded slightly and it will get CB band. It, of course, got AM, FM, all that kind of stuff. But the ARDV10 has upper side band, lower side band. If you press the mode button here and look through, you can see AM, USB, LSB, CW and go across. Then you start to see D-Star, Yesu, DMR. So I feel that the DV10 is a superior device. Um, now, it all depends on the price for you. Let's turn up the... So that you're now just listening to the... To the DV10. <laughs> he is funny. That's Ivan. Right, let's turn that right down and then turn up the Alinko. Let someone speak. So the Alinko, it's a smaller device. It's got a, a sharper sound, but still very nice. And it's, it, you know, it's very light. You can pick it up in your hand and it's nice to use. It is, yeah. And of course, you can pick up broadcast stations. I can type in my air band if I want and start picking up that marine marine band. You've got dual display on screen here, so it's like a dual watch. It's not simultaneous, but you've got dual display here where the Alinko is a, a single display device. We just go set and you can't understand that, uh, of course, because it's it's in Chinese at the moment. I have been translating it so I can work it out and I've been doing videos whilst it's translated. Um, press the monitor. There is a function button here. If you press function, then you get additional additional functions as well. But I'm going to show the functionality of this when I'm converting it because it's a bit annoying. But yeah, battery, GPS, no GPS in the AOR DV10. So, I mean... If you hold the DV10, this is a big, heavy device. You drop this, it's like dropping a brick. You've got backlit orange keyboards there. Uh, the older style charging. So DC, that's the same as Yesu. That is. Uh, FT70, all that kind of stuff. And it has, I, it has got software to program it. Sorry, it's not very clear. You've got a data connection there. Same as the Uniden one, actually. 3.5 jack out as well. Power, monitor squelch as well. Micro SD card. I'm not seeing a micro SD card in the Alinko. Not seeing an obvious one. I'm seeing USB connection. And I think, it, you know, it, you can read it via the... I know you can read it via the USB. You've already been playing around with the, the software. Let's just get this battery off. Like so, I'm just looking to see if there's... I mean, when you're down to this level, I wonder what that is there, if that's where you remove 
for modification because you can put a code in this and it opens it up but you do need to move a resistor i wonder if that's what that is um so the model here is the 2230 model it's quite plastic when you get it down to this level it's quite plasticky it doesn't feel i don't know i'm it's hard to say because i'll just say it's quite plasticky um where is it booting up there latest latest version the i feel like with this model i feel like i could drop it and it wouldn't really matter these batteries they use in the marine band the air band batteries these ones i feel like it wouldn't matter that much it wouldn't really break but this thing i feel like if i dropped it and i was walking along the pavement i don't feel like this would bounce i feel like this case would actually break uh, that's from a quality point of view it's not that it's bad quality i just feel like what, what i just said so yeah i thought i'd show them you know they are going to be separately priced i mean the lowest this one's going to be the Alinco is going to be 699 i would say that's the lowest it will be these you can still get these 8 850 you'll get these and you get a lot if you want to if you want to listen to dmr d star fusion or the same you know with one device receive only then you know these are the types to go for there is a base station one which is the aor dv uh, dv1 the base station looks like that bye for now